Hey friends, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. I'm Chanel. I'm your movie watching BFF. Don't know why I'm making a lot of noise over here. Uh, you've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we, work, we watch movies together. Gonna get it today. Get it together, Shane. I like to look out for filmmaker elements because I think it's really fun. I'm wrong all the time. Uh, you're watching my unofficial film school because I didn't get to go. So um, we watch movies. I'm going to let you know what's going on in my head. And then we're going to look up the IMDb movie trivia at the end together. Anyway, I would love for today's intro to be like record short because I have procrastinated today. So we're going to watch Dune from 2021. I'm skipping the original right now because I don't want to spoil the story. I want to experience the story for the first time like this. So we're going to do part one. And then when part two comes to streaming, I'm going to hit it. And I love Denny Villeneuve. I love Arrival. I've seen a couple of other of his things. So I feel like I owe it to myself to watch this. I really, really want to. I've seen Arrival. I've seen... What else have I seen of his? Maybe something else on the channel. I'm not sure. Let's go. Okay, yeah, we've seen Blade Runner 2049. We've seen... Yeah, okay, so that's where we've seen him on the channel before. So I'm really excited for Dune. I'm just like ready for it. Timmy Chalamet, I love him, Zendaya. And I'm so excited for this production design. I think it's going to be a wonder for my eyes. I feel like maybe I can chill on the script on this one because I'm just going to be looking at so much cool stuff. And I'm so excited to just see what kind of world we're playing in. So I really don't want to know any more. I'm going to read the log line because sometimes I have comprehension issues. And if you're new here, that's why I like film because it usually lets me know what to pay attention to. <laughs> like, hey, we're doing a close up here. Pay attention and stop thinking about dinner. Uh, so the logline is a noble family becomes embroiled in a war for control over the galaxy's most valuable asset. Asset. While its heir becomes troubled by visions of a dark future. Okay, get the plans. Get the plans to the Death Star. Why don't we? <laughs> this is going to be another hero's journey. So I'm freaking ready for that. And yeah. All right. This is the point where we're going to thank the members who sit on my $15 tier. Because they're on my tier, they get a special shout out. Because they're on that tier, not my tier. Uh, this month we are thanking Jay, Sonic Paintbrush, Janice, Kenneth, Remy, Simon, Ubi Relder, Skeeter, Simplexity, who's Alex, Muggy, DJ, Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Kevin. Oh, I love the C names. Kevin's a K. Reef, Ethan, Tom, Hemichanga, David, Bro Uncle Brian, Sean Grismore, Daniel, Jason, and Motodork. Thank you guys so freaking much for helping me out. Being on my $15 tier, I so appreciate you. Patreon and ways to support me are down below, but without further ado, we're just gonna start today's video, which is going to be Dune from 2021. I'm so excited. <laughs> My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. <sighs> planet. You can see spice in the air. They ravage our lands in front of our eyes. By controlling spice production, they became obscenely rich. Richer than the Emperor himself. Oh, this feels real close to home, friends. Fellow Americans out there. Oh. I'm like, got it. Forner, spice harvester, capitalists. You just couldn't free Arrakis from the Harkonnens. By imperial decree, they were gone. <laughs> Later stormtroopers, am I right? And who will our next oppressors be? Whoa, great opening. Stunning. Who will our next oppressors be? Fate Black cut in on Timothy Chalamet. Is he going to be an oppressor? A misunderstood oppressor? You're 10,191? I need my pen. If you want tips, make me give it to you. Use the voice. Mom, I just woke up. May I please have? Is this like Jedi mind tricks, guys? Is that what I'm witnessing? Give me the water. Almost. More dreams? 
of her. Mm. Why does mom have an accent and he doesn't? Long exposure to spice has given the tribe their characteristic blue eyes, the eyes of Ibad. Fremen attacks make spice harvesting extremely hazardous. Without spice, interstellar travel is impossible. Huh, that's the, the valuable substance, spice. Oh, these visuals are really reminding me of Arrival right now. Wow. <laughs> stunning. Stunning. So I'm gathering Timothy Chalamet is like a little, little war, war boy, maybe. They're like definitely training him up to be useful. Ah, oh, we love him. Is that Oscar Isaac? Traveling all this way for this formality. Three guild navigators, a total of 1.46 million 62 salaries round trip. The eyes really got me there. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis and serve as its steward. I would have liked to have seen that for one second longer, I'll be honest with you. I want to see the seal. It's done. Just like that, they're taking over. This movie would give a time traveler a heart attack, don't you think, guys? Do you ever think about that? <laughs> Someone from like the early 1900s seeing this, they'd be like, oh my god. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> Call me boy. My boy. I guess tomorrow. With the advanced team. Jason Momoa. I'd like you to take me with you. You would. I have to see about a girl. That's too bad, because no. <laughs> You're trying to get me court-martialed. It's too bad, because no. <laughs> I've been having dreams. I saw you. See, like a uh, future seer? I saw you lying dead. I felt like if I had been there, you'd be alive. Dreams make good stories, but everything important happens when we're awake. <sighs> oh, put on some muscle. I did? No. What's important is when we're awake. That's a little bit of a theme, I hear. That's gonna come back, I hope. It's giving little women. <laughs> on the cliffs. I studied the friendly language, I'd be an asshole. Out of the question. He'll travel in a few weeks to Arrakis like the rest of them. Oh, he's been studying. And grandfather fought bulls for sport. Yes. And look where that got him. When we get to Arrakis, we'll face enormous danger. What danger? Yeah, because you're colonizing. By taking Arrakis from the Harkonnens and making it ours, he sets the stage for a war, which would weaken both houses. Here on Caladan, we've ruled by air power and sea power. On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. Hmm. I'll be very intrigued to know if these... People will like them. <laughs> the future of House Atreides. I told my father I didn't want this either. Got my glimpse at it that I wanted. A great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. And if your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. <laughs> this is a good dad. Treating him like a son and not like a king. A king and a, his servant. Maybe you'll find yours. I know what alliance they can make. A marriage between Timmy and Zendaya. I tell us you by your footsteps, Gurney Halleck. Someone might imitate my stride. Okay, build a busher. Oh, cool. Does that like protect them as they're training from it getting actual hurt? I have you. Checkmate, bitch. Damn, my lord. You to join me in death. Ugh, I have you too. I was just gonna say, I love the sets. It's always so amazing to me when something futuristic ends up just looking super medieval. It's kind of like a thing. Arrakis belonged to House Harkonnen. 80 years of owning the spice fields. Can you imagine the wealth? They're not human, they're brutal. Uh-oh. Homeworld of House Harkonnen. Okay. We're, we're with the baddies now. Can you hear it? 
this movie is helpful for me because I have shit comprehension. How can the Emperor take everything we've built? How? And the Emperor is a jealous man. A dangerous, jealous man. Is he? Who are you? This is stunning. Oh, this would have been awesome in theaters. You're gonna have to comment below if you went. And if you went to part two, did you get the bucket? And no spoilers, or I will personally find you and be very mad. I'm so shook that this emperor just can say the word and transfer power, like, and everybody listens. She talks to him. What's wrong? Get dressed and come with me. It's like his little, little personal traveling ring light. Sexy, sexy lighting at all times. What is going on? And is his family evil too? What are their intentions? The guy Selimoheim is here. She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit school. She's now truthsayer to the emperor. Truthsayer. Is he a truthsayer? How does she know about my dreams? Because Jason Momoa ratted your ass out. Mother f I'm so annoyed. His heart is strong as ever, my lady. Do they both speak the language of the natives and he's like giving his blessing? I'm thinking that's what that language was. Because he's been studying. Oh God, I'm... Ugh. I kind of want to rewatch that. Defiance in the eyes, like his father. Leave us. You must do everything in honor of mother tongue. Defiance in his eyes. My mother in her own house. Come here, kneel. Oh, my volume's really loud again, mother. How dare you use the voice on me? That's right, Timmy. Give it to her back. Fuck her up. Put your right hand in the box. No. Poison needle. Instant death. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. It's in the box. Pain. <laughs> Why did they call this woman? Nothing. Enough. Oh. That was a whole thing about fear? Him conquering fear? His hand should be fine, right? Purely mental. Like sifting sand through a screen. If you had been unable to control your impulses like an animal, we could not let you live. You inherit too much power. He's special. Jessica? He passed the test, baby. Somebody gets licensed to drive. Tell me about these dreams. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dreamed them? Not exactly. Oh, not exactly. You chose to train him in the way. In defiance of our rule. He wields our power. He had to be tested to the limits. Oh, she's not really supposed to be training so him. So much potential wasted in a male. <laughs> you were told to bear only daughters, but you and your pride thought you... On Arrakis, we have done all we can for you. A path has been laid. Let's hope he doesn't squander it. I love this world. You were supposed to produce only females. She trained a boy. How cutting edge. What does it mean? That I could be the one? You had a mind powerful enough to bridge space and time. All part of the plan. Ugh, he's like, I'm just a, a spoke in your wheel. I'm a pawn in your chess game. You guys lied to me. We, I love a chosen one story. Who doesn't? Also, fucking stunning.
I love the bridge from act one to act two of a movie because it's the character like it's the character like making a choice or like coming to a realization or being like am I going to embark on the journey do you know what I mean you guys ever study screenwriting it's pretty funny and it seems like he has no choice but no choice but he's going to choose it my lungs taste the air of time bone past fallen sand little bagpipey action Time to conquer sand, folks. I believe that's what they said. How does it feel to walk on a new world? Exciting, to say the least. They work together in Ladybird, just in case you were wondering. This is what I've been waiting for. How do the natives feel? Voice from the outer world. It's their name for Messiah. That means the men Chesarid have been at work here. They see the signs. You see what they've been told to see? Yeah, I don't know. Shield wall protects the city from the weather and the worms. Oh, I can't wait to see these worms. I've heard of these. It's giving ominous for me. I'm not feeling great about this. What do they say about this hellhole again? To shower, you scrub your ass with sand, my lord. That's what they say. Candidates for a housekeeper, my lady. Ugh, I am so uncomfortable. It's like these people just move in. Who gives them their authority? What is your name? Shut up, mapes, my lady. The rest of you may go. I would say, who wants to work here? Like, who's psyched? I know that you have a weapon concealed in your bodies. The weapon is meant as a gift. If you are truly the one. These people think their messiah has come. Is that Al Qaib? The mother and the son. I don't know date palms could even be found out here. Oh. These aren't indigenous. Each one of these drinks every day the equivalent of five men. <sighs> we remove them. Save the water. No, no. Yes. Old dream. He is her saving lives. I like him as a ruler. That's how we like our chosen ones. Oh my god, it's the worm. The sand walk. A dance like motion. That's so pretty. And that is tiny. What is that? Camera? Bot? Spy? Hunter Seeker. The operator must be nearby. Hunter Seeker. Also, he almost got got by it, but like, let it happen. I am an honor to They tried to take the life of my son! I don't give a damn about your honor. You want absolution? Go catch some spies. That thing was wild. He, he was kind of letting it happen, almost. House Harkonnen would never dream of violating the sanctity of your order. I give you my word. We will not harm them. I said I would not harm them, and I shall not. But Arrakis is Arrakis. My desert. My Arrakis. Looks like Ursula the Sea Witch. My Dune. My Dune? Did he say my Dune? All Atreides who catches hunter seekers in his bare hands like a hero of old. <laughs> he did, he miyagi it. When do we see Zendaya? God. <laughs> Let's go. He's not dead yet. Duncan. Well done. Thank you, my lord. Sire, your leader has a knife. He won't surrender, sire. It's sacred to his people. Let him pass. I don't know. I still think Duncan's got to die by the end of this. I feel like Timmy Chalmay, he his visions can't be wrong. Hey! Ooh. Javier Bardem. Hold. <clears throat> Thank you, Stilgar, for the gift of your body's moisture. We accept it in the spirit in which it was given. Oh, really? <laughs> 
Thanks for the gift of your body's moisture. <laughs> have much to offer one another. You are outworlders. You come here for the spice. You take it, giving nothing in return. Yep, yep, yep. Finally, someone's spitting the truth. And you will never be hunted while I govern here. Okay. Honor requires that I be elsewhere. She, she. <gasps> From where? Dreams? A plan bears fruit. But it will take time. Yes. It will take time. I want to trust the new family in charge that, like, they have good intentions. I just don't think you can ever really have good intentions in these situations. I tune to the desert. Part of it. It's part of them. You wait till you see it. It's beautiful out there. We should dance as with wolves this whole shindig, right? Get to know them on their level. Become one. Welcome to Arrakis. With your permission, sire, I must check the integrity of your Oh, it's all right. Got it. Is they're like the Secret Service. Chanel's thinking. Want to still suit before? No, this is my first time. Well, your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? Seemed the right way. Oh, he's a natural. I shall know your ways as though born to them. <gasps> what would you do if your ornithopter went down out here? You wouldn't want to go down out there. It's worm territory. Show me a worm. Let's go. Is that a worm? I want to see a worm attack right now. Let's go. Show me like a great white chomp chomp. Rescue mission. Ugh, finally. I really like that this movie is taking pains to world build. It's a lot of information. They've got a lot to show us, a ton, and I'm appreciating it. And now we're getting some action. We've heard about the worms, now we gotta see them in action. A lot of sand. <laughs> Spice. I want every man off that crawler now. Lives over spice. Oh. <laughs> Tremors wishes, you guys. <laughs> Is his are his eyes going to turn blue? Is he going to become one of them? This looks so cool. Oh. <laughs> it's the mouth of the worm. Bye bye money. Oh my god. It's a lot of a lot of equipment gone. You have responsibilities. Guys, I'm sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Go. Dr. Kynes. But dad! We've been set up to fail. That carry-all was just old. The desert's not kind to humans, either. Spice is a psychoactive chemical. Oof. Is he high? To be sensitive. I'm like, I hope he's high. <laughs> I had a vision. My eyes were wide open. What did you see? Her. Did she stab him? Confusing. I thought I saw my death. Mm -hmm. Someone will hand me a blade, but I don't know who, or when, or where. I know you're pregnant. I didn't know that. It's only been a few weeks. That was his mom holding a blue-eyed baby. That's a vision of what's to come? Is she about to have baby Jesus in this world? <laughs> Who is this baby's daddy? There's something you need to know about Paul. No. You gave me a son. 
And from the moment he was born, I never questioned you. I trusted you. She's got to have a daughter. Will you protect Paul? Is she going to tell him? What's that a symbol of? I see like a bull. You need to sleep. No. Not like that. I should have married you. They're not married? Oh no, I'm scared. I'm getting so confused. It's okay, Chanel. Just wait. Just wait, sweets. I should have married you? Ah, uh, he's not drugged, so he can wake up. Security. Security. <sighs> Security is... Night-night. How long does that protect him for? How long? How long? How long? Get it, get it, get it, get it. <sighs> no. Him? He did it? Jo the doctor killed him? <sighs> this is getting so surprising. I'm so like, what the f is happening? Wow, you guys, this is kind of scratching that like Star Wars itch for me that I was like sort of missing. I'm gonna be really intrigued to know if Timothy Paul took the pills. So my mind is starting to project into the future. When, I feel like we're gonna get Zendaya, like the last frame of this movie. She's gonna be like, hey, we've been waiting for you. Okay, okay, the doctor didn't do it. He is gonna be the one to- I'm Sorry, my lord. Help him. But I've made a bargain <gasps> with the Baron. Oh. The Harkonnens have my wife, Mona. They take her apart like a doll. Oh my God. I will buy her freedom and you are the price. <gasps> Oh my God. Okay, well, he has good reason. I will do what I can. And you will kill a man for me. Oh, he has no choice. If you bite down hard, this tooth will crash. You will fill the air with poison. So, oh, he took him. Um... Come on, Timothy, have one of your visions. Is this his death scene? Come on, Aquaman. Thank you, Paul. Oh, I thought Paul woke up. Paul has been seemingly kidnapped. I said I wouldn't harm them. But just let the desert have their have its way with them. We fucking knew this was coming. I give her a long goodbye. Don't you dare touch my mother. <laughs> Don't talk. Time to get ready. Remove her gag. <laughs> it's do or die, chosen one. Oh, gotta make it sound a little more evil. Set her free! Yay. Give me the knife! Your pitch was too forced. <laughs> Thank you, but I have notes. <laughs> There's no going back, I feel like, now. Remember the bull figurine? The bullfighter. Now we're staring at a head of a bull. Why? Oh. 
Would you always make your dinner guests sit that far away from you? <laughs> that symbol, the triangle, the, the, the diamond. This is Dr. Yue's handwriting. If anyone makes it out of Arakeen alive, there's an Atreides speaking in the front kit. Okay, I don't hate Doc anymore. He's playing both sides, but he's gonna come through. I just know it. Deliver my wife from her agony. Now, bite, chomp, chomp. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. To <laughs> capture you too. So join her. Cool, 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 cool. Betrayer for no reason. Love that. Love, 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 love that. Your son is dead. Your concubine is dead. Tonight the house of a trade is full. Calling her his concubine. <laughs> oh. Come closer. I have to breathe something in your face. <sighs> Phew. Doctor set up one good thing. I think she believes in Paul, so here's to hoping she can help. The Emperor sent us here to die. I knew this deal felt shady. <laughs> oh my god, Voldemort. Looking bitches. Someone escaped the poison by going on the roof? She, she's gotta be the one. Female, right? And now she's literally dressed like the one. Yeah, he fights for them. Gets the blue eyes. These men are in my father's name. That really surprised me. Oh, my God, Polly. DJ Polly D. Sweat and tears. If it gets the job done. They're definitely playing with color now. We, we saw green in the aircraft and like now they've got this red glow on them. Can be a worm. It's them. It's not good. Ugh, they always have a great reunion, these guys. <laughs> Duncan! My lord Duke. Oh, I don't like this for him. I don't know why that made me so sad. I feel like he doesn't want power, Paul. He just wants to. Like, the decision was made for him. The Emperor forbids me from saying anything at all. And yet you risk your life to help us. She's got the sword, too, I think. And she believes in him. Arrakis could have been a paradise. The work had begun, but then the spice was discovered. Suddenly, no one... I was gonna say, look at these costume changes. From, like, royalty to one of us, you know? Who are you to the front of the When your parents find your stash. <laughs> Just kidding. The Emperor feared the Atreides. He brought you here to kill you. What don't you understand? Your lost boy hiding in a hole in the ground. Hmm. No, I'm not. I'm the chosen one. A voice from the outer world who will lead them to paradise. It's me. When I have my volume just so, friends, oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> Zarkar! No! Duncan! Oh, no! This is his sacrifice. Come on, Duncan. Got a little bit more in ya. 
I knew Duncan had more in him. What did I say? He's got more juice. I like her. I hope we keep her. We need her. This is such a cool world. It's a really cool story. It's like very much hitting in terms of making it just feel big. Lunch time. <sighs> she was such a badass. I liked her. I'm sad. They're killing off really good people in part one. Making me care. What a reality to experience. A process that cannot be understood by stopping it. We must move with the flow of the process. Jedi mind tricks. Go with the flow. I'm literally writing down go with the flow. <laughs> okay. They're dead. It's a certainty. No. And the vermin. Kill them all. So balsamic vinegar and oil brings that motherfucker back. God damn. <laughs> this world is so fun. I don't know what it is. Sludge? Tar? We're above 5,000 meters. Can we meet Zendaya now? Well, <laughs> we're landing now. Where's Reba with a gun when you need her? You know, she'd be really helpful. <laughs> we need more residual boulders to climb. <laughs> Can we see her baby belly? I want to know really badly. It's your fears. Where Duncan landed. Somewhere off that way. Let's go. We can't walk like regular humans. If we do, we're dead. We'll have to walk like the Fremen do. It's called a sand walk. I've been waiting to see the walk the whole mo this whole movie ever since we introduced it. Right. He's from sand. Yes, I was about to say, there's no other option. Run! Oh, wait, I thought that was a bunker that he felt. The Duncan bunker. Ugh, I didn't hear what he said. Is mom gonna die? That would make sense for this movie. Clutch your pearls, everybody. I think it leaves him alone. It's a thumper. What does that mean? Someone set off a thumper. So it sort of lured it away. Lucky for us. Do not run. It's Javi again. Stogar, you know me. I was there when you came to my father's council. Oh. My thumper saved his life. You will be well rewarded. What wealth can you offer beyond the water? in your flesh yeah when they when you're in the desert there's really not much you can offer <laughs> what's gonna happen guys why didn't you say you were a weirding woman and a fighter the conversation ran short <laughs> 
I would not have let you hurt my friend. It's her. I hear the voice. Zendaya? Two whole hours in. I freaking knew it. Two hours and what? Like ten in? Hey girl. You've been in my dreams. Have I been in yours? It's you. It's you. Is that it? They say you're the Mondi. But you look like a little boy. <laughs> you look like a little boy. I love that. You may not challenge Esayadina. Then who will fight in her name? Jummies, don't do this. Don't. Oh my god, guys, stop it. Great close up of Timothy. Do you guys think they shot part one and part two together to keep all the continuity and everything? Just tr treated it like one big movie? When you take a life, you take your own. I don't believe you're the Lison al Gahib, but I want you to die with honor. Give him a weapon. <gasps> this Chris knife was given to me by my. I don't know where it's gonna come from. He said that. This will be a great honor for you to die holding it. Or live stabbing with it, girl. You won't let you suffer. I was gonna say, what can you say? <laughs> I was gonna say, like you, how? Nothing to, nothing to really say there. May thy knife chip and shatter. <laughs> Hope your knife chips and shatters. <laughs> it's a pretty cool choice to do this without any score. Do you guys hear this? <laughs> He's like, I don't want to kill you. It's I pay with my life. <laughs> Had to happen, right? <laughs> he didn't want to do that. I really feel it from the performance. Well, that's gonna haunt him forever. You're one of us now. <gasps> My father came, not for spice, not for the riches. If you'll have us, we will come. They came with honor. It's the only way this works. Part two becomes a journey movie? I don't know. I don't know. That's exciting. There's your power. It's only the beginning. Do you guys have chills everywhere? I'm sad I can't see part two in theaters, you guys. I'm really sad. Hey, man. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, Dune, part one from 2021. I have now seen it. Holy whoa, you guys. I am so beyond stoked and impressed with that world building. It was so, so, so complete. So interesting. I feel like sometimes I can get pretty sad of like, I feel like we've we've done all the stories. We've done all the things. I'm like, never again will we have a world like Star Wars. You know what I mean? And then like something like this comes along that just sort of kind of impresses me in that way. And it's just like another world to fall in love with. So I guess, I guess as long as we have imagination, <laughs> imagination, we will have good worlds and cool movies. I don't know. It's really kind of cool. I really enjoyed Timothy's performance. I think it's so good. I think this movie lays a ton of pipe. For me, that's fine. I really like that. I mean, I'm just learning about the world and, you know, how it operates. And I was really skeptical of this emperor who just installed them on the throne or whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like the design, the costuming, the sets, the old world meets 
extreme future, just it's really, really strong. And then some things have to be really clear, I want to say. Like, they have to repeat themselves a million times. I don't think you're the guy. You know, what is, how do you say it? The Lisan al Gaib. I don't think that's you. And I appreciate every repetition. And then I also appreciate when we're kind of ambiguous. Like, when I really don't know what to make of something. You know, when they just introduce it, introduce, introduce it, and that's that. So, and just the themes. Just coming up with some really cool themes. I'm, I'm really interested in the symbolism of the bull. So you guys should talk to me about that. Like, what are you getting from that I'm really interested in yeah this like it's it's definitely building a natives know best story it's like in the way of avatar and I mean just we've seen this story so many times yeah I wrote go with the flow it's a very very Jedi as well and so I just really like this and I see what they're building I'm really sad that I can't go straight to you know the second one but I will wait. Yeah, like sprawling is the word or or like I wanted to call this movie vibey. It's so vibey. Okay, millennial, take a seat. Let's do a quickie trivia section because I really don't want to spoil anything. Okay, according to production designer, the movie was originally supposed to end later in the story. Ah, but the final scenes were shifted to the sequel, meaning some of the prep for Dune Part 2 had already been done. That was my question if they shot it all at once. It seems like they didn't, but they shot some of it. Oh, it was Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Thank God. Whoa, Hans Zimmer spent a week in the deserts of Utah to assimilate some of the sounds of the landscape into his thinking for the score. That's so cool. Adapting Dune for the screen has been a lifelong dream of Denny Villeneuve ever since he learned about David Lynch's cult classic. I think one day I will get to the 80s cult classic, but right now I just want to stick with the story. Ugh, Denny saw Baron as a rhino in human form. Yeah, he kind of looked like a rhino. Okay, so Caladan was Norway. Much of the desert of Arrakis was Jordan and Abu Dhabi. Whoa. Year-long process to design the sandworms. Ah, linguistics experts. Expert David J. Peterson helped create the Framen language, most well-known for helping create the Game of Thrones, Dothraki, and Valerian. Valerian. He did not watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, distinctly, this movie sports a distinctly Arabic theme. Heard it in the music, heard it in the sounds. Score was recorded by Hans Zimmer during COVID-19 lockdown. Wow. Fight coordinator Roger Yuan based the fighting style of House Atreides on Filipino martial arts. To make House Harkonnen, Harkonnen, I'm really bad with these names, seem barbaric, he based their fighting style on Mongolian fighting styles. That's so cool. More than 2,000 visual effects shots were created for the film. Oh, this, there's some Star Wars connections. Denny's plans for Dune are quite ambitious as he hopes to make it the Star Wars he never saw. In an interview, he explained most of the main ideas of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope came from Dune. So it will be a challenge to tackle this project. In a way, it's Star Wars for adults. And we know Oscar Isaac plays um in, but he plays Poe. Whoa, Timothy Chalamet is playing 15 years old in this. I did not catch that. I thought he was playing about 20. Whoops. He does look young, I'm just saying. Okay, bull stuff. Many pieces of Atreides furniture portray a bull. Leto's father um, fought bulls to impress his people and his namesake grandson Paul points out this is portrayed in the novel. Okay. So it's like that family's furniture, the bull stuff. Hm. The sandworms have a minute and a half of screen time. I have to admit I'm pretty shocked at how little sandworms were used. Matador imagery is a memorial to Leto's father, Paul Atreides, who was killed during a bullfight tampered with by a Harkonnen assassin in the prequel novel House Atreides. The severed bullhead is that of the bull that killed him. Okay, so that's in the book. Yeah, was written in the novel House Atreides. So that we didn't catch that in the movie. I don't think I missed it, but I could have. Okay, so I'm going to call this budget 300 million, 165 mil. And so I was wrong. You have now seen my reaction to Dune Part 1 from 2021. Now I want to hear from you. Comment below. Where were you when you first caught this? What did you think? What were you doing? Please no spoilers for Part 2. Please, please, please. I'm just going to really hold out on this one because I think it's going to be worth it. Was this like Star Wars for you? Like, did you get that? And what did you think? I just think this is so much freaking fun and I'm ready for more. So Patreon information in the description box below if you want to see my full-length unedited reaction to this. But you guys know the drill. On that note... I'm going to go eat.